All right, guys, I'm here at my next job. Nice place. We'll talk about what's, what's going on here. Get a light. So we need to replace these three yes, I have. Uh, cartridges. Yeah, I have. Busy, busy, busy. Here. Yeah. Actually, for some reason, I have four. Just notice that. Well, there's one on the top there too. That um, there's, there's it a looks total like of five or six. It yeah, looks like. Yeah, but not all of them need replacement every time. Mm -hmm. In other words, they go from the um, the rougher to the finer. Right, right. Resolution. So mm -hmm. um, I have the the. Um, rig for getting the yeah, big ones getting off. the cartridge off. So that's what you want me to replace the ones, the big ones on the bottom? Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm not sure why I got this look like the same. No, they, they may be. They may have two of them. You yeah. know. I'll look now at... They're both I'll, 10 microns, so mm -hmm. they... Maybe this is for the next time I need to replace it. Yeah. I, so let me I, ask you, what was going on with these basket strainers? Okay. So up, uh, up here. Mm -hmm. I think this needs to be re. I'm gonna say caulked, but I don't know if that's yeah the, the correct term. Well, we putty it. it. We puttied. It happened about two years ago, and the um, plumber that installed it came mm -hmm. back, and yeah. that's what he did. And so that one leaks quite a bit. This one leaks a very minor amount. I put a dish drainer, yeah, plastic thing underneath, and it never overflowed. Okay. But well, you don't want any water coming. No, out of we don't. <laughs> no. So, all right. Well, let me take a peek at this. Sure. Whoa, watch. Let's see what we can do on these filters real quick here. This should be pretty easy. Okay, so I, uh, <laughs> I was just afraid to try to do it myself. I've yeah. had friends help me twice now, but I'm really looking for a professional that I can just call and say, hey, can you come and do the filters? <laughs> right, I can. Okay, so we're gonna turn that off. We're gonna turn this off to prevent that tank from. I think it's kind of a two person job. At a certain point, you need somebody to hold it. No, um, I, I think I should be able to get it. Should be able to do it? Okay. Get it out. I'll be able to pull this Short. I can disconnect that. And, uh, let's make sure this is off. Yep. Okay. First stage, second, and third. This is, we're gonna go first stage. That's probably sediment. So these are basically the same. Okay, let me just go get a, uh, a towel so I can do this on a towel. <clears throat> in my area where my house is, just in the last week or two, they changed the flood zone. Oh, yeah. And uh, so you might want to look, 
even though we didn't experience any flooding on my street whatsoever, now all of a sudden I'm in a flood. My neighbor called me and he said, you can expect your insurance to go up. So I'm gonna take this off. Yeah. Yeah. So it's not a. And it's not that. It wasn't that expensive. It's also about eight hundred bucks a year, which for the peace of mind, I'll take the money. It's worth it. It's worth it. All about it. Yeah. I get it. Mm -hmm. So you want to get this back in the car? Okay, guys. So I disconnected a few hoses here just to get this out, so I can service it. Ma'am, yeah. let me show you something. This this uh, filter that I took out doesn't look exactly like the one you have here. Um, you know, this mesh on the outside. Right. Uh, so, I think it's the right it one. It looks like, well, okay. Right. Yeah, I think it's the right one. Okay. I just, you know, it does look a little they different. They do change them? I mean, that happened the last time yeah. as well? Here, I'll hold this. Okay. Yeah. Don't get it too tight. We'll never get it off. No. <laughs> Make sure it's tight enough that it doesn't leak. Yeah. Here, I can hold this. Okay. And then you got this. Okay. That's good enough now. I'm gonna get out of here. As I said, I'll get out of your way, but any time you want me to lend a hand to tell. Okay. So this is going to be the same type of filter in this one. Does that one look the same? Uh, they, they both look the same, the ones that I took out and the ones that I'm putting in look the same. So. No, I'm good, ma'am. I'm good. And I saw people not like it. They had to be a puller along the way. 
<laughs> we get that a lot. People are just interested in what's going on. by cutting these hoses so short.
so we want to make sure that we even connections we didn't make we want to make sure these things are pushed in properly brains in do us any favors you should be able to pull this whole thing right out uh, comfortably and easily Is that 37? You sure have seen a lot of changes. Absolutely. I mean, I've seen changes in the five and a half years. Yep. It's definitely uh, this city's growing up. This Sarasota County is growing up yes, <laughs> before our eyes. Good at that. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately. Yeah. So these things uh, have been an issue, these basket strainers. And I just want to make sure that there's not... What was the name of the architect? Uh, Rudolph, I think, did oh, I say? Oh, Paul Rudolph. Yeah, no, this isn't his. This would not be his. He had left town by 65. How about Carl Abbott? 
Well, I know Carl. Oh, okay. And um, yeah, this wouldn't be his either. He he does a lot of stuff with these uh, that type of roof line, you know. Right. I, I was, did some. Yeah, I like Rhode Island. Yeah, it's a beautiful place. I'm I'm happy I'm here. And I had more opportunity here than I probably would have up in Rhode Island. Uh, more, more building, more new stuff going on? Yeah. yeah. Well, I had a, a mid-century house in Connecticut built in 1948. Flat roof, big overhangs. Yeah. And uh, I had that about 30 years, and I really liked it. Okay, guys, I've got this thing cleaned and re puttied. And uh, this is like the second, third time she's had an issue with these. This was just extremely loose. <clears throat> wants to cross.
making like a sieve. Should have been down lower this drain. Unfortunately, it's a dishwasher tailpiece too on the back side. Let me go get another fitting. Alright guys, so I'm gonna put a new uh flange, I'm gonna put a new dishwasher uh inlet here. I'm gonna put a new top hat washer. Pipe dope that. Hopefully get that together. That and it won't leak. And then we will go from there. I'll hook that drain back up for the RO. You just got a lot going on in this little section of pipe. So we're going to put this in here. We'll swing this out. Thank you. 
let's see if that works. So I've got this back together and it's not leaking. Uh, with a new, new tail piece here. Now I just need to be able to get this, this drain in. Uh, and give, give it enough room to, uh, to drop that nut. See, it needs to come down like right to there. Yeah. All right, so I'm gonna put a hole right here. So I'm gonna try to put a gasket like this on here and hope that that works. I think I just saw a drip. That's centered. I can get this. This went right in that hole, so I know that that's right. Ma'am, who put the RO system in for you? Uh, it wasn't at the same time as I did the remodel, but it was the same plumber. Oh, okay. Which may be why the fitting is kind of wonky, because it went in later. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, it's tight. You got a lot going on in here, yeah, but... I 
it doesn't help that he didn't leave enough a lot of pipe you're supposed to be able to like pull all of this stuff out okay and he he cut these pipes really short which once i get it back together it's it'll be fine but it would make servicing it a lot easier you know okay uh, is it is it something i could order from the manufacturer from the company uh no, don't worry about it. I just feel like complaining today. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm just being honest. That. You know, sometimes it's like that, you know? <laughs> it is tight under there. Um, it, it is, and it's... It would be a lot easier if, if I could pull all this stuff out, but it's not going to happen. Oh, yeah. <sighs> Some of these basket strainers, when you use a uh, top hat washer on them, you can't get the nuts started. They just they don't allow for that. I didn't take it into consideration. You can see how how much lower that part is, that drain. It's just enough so that the you got room to take things apart. That's aligned. I need to do it on this side too. The basket strain is leaking. Pretty good, guys. No blips on that side, okay. So I'm gonna fill this basket all the way up. I just wanna be very, very careful and make sure this is done correctly.
guy who put this shit together was struggling. Big time. Just incredible how loose that is. guys so I've got this back together the RO system is on uh, the drains hooked up and no leaks most of all What a nice house. Beautiful. Let me go uh, get something. To, do you have a little vacuum? Yeah, right there. I'm going to vacuum this up if you don't mind. I can take care of it. I mean, I was going to be vacuuming anyway after the rest of the. Oh, well, I don't. I'll bend over and okay. what do you need it to, to get it to start? Put it together, it was a struggle for him too, I could see. 
it's tight in there. A lot of stuff. Oh. I'm gonna bring you back a couple business cards, okay? Great. I'll be right back in.
Alright guys, uh, Johnny Sunshine here. It's 152. I'm done man. That house, this kitchen was a pain in my ass. Whoever hooked up the RO system, uh, they hung everything, put everything where it belonged and then put the pipes on. Uh, and they cut everything too short. You should be able to bring that pressure tank out, sit it on the floor in front of the cabinet. Uh, you should definitely be able to get the uh, cartridge out, that whole package, pull it out uh, to work on it. Everything was too short. I did go through and push in all the fittings on there, all the uh, tubing, and there were at least two, two or three that they didn't go that extra to lock it in. And... Uh, when you work in a in a house like this, that's a million dollar fucking house. It's it's more about the liability. Just once you touch it, and uh, if something goes wrong, you're gonna be getting served by a fucking lawyer because you're getting sued. And you know, so you can't be doing. There are certain jobs you can do for free, but other jobs, I mean, not free, but you can give people a, a break something like this when i'm playing with an ro system somebody else put in uh and just a bunch of plumbing and you could see the guy who put it in was struggling like hell uh everything's butted up against each other you couldn't get it apart um just a mess it took a long time it was a struggle man and i think i'm just tired from yesterday but my first job was was kind of tough too today so uh, that's a good enough indication for Johnny to just go the fuck home, man. You know, that's it. I, I'm done. I throw in the fucking white tile, 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 whatever the fuck it's called. I surrender. I surrender.